For a knee banded body weight hip thrust, you're gonna have some kind of hip circle. So I have a cloth band here. Whatever kind of band you can manage here, even if you double up um, like a long loop band, you want it to go just above the knees if you can, or halfway up the thighs. Um, you could go below the knees, but sometimes it's a little bit more, more awkward. So this is just challenging the lateral portion of the hips as you're going through the hip thrust exercise. Um, and you want to have a bench that's 12 to 14 inches in height. So you're going to lean against it, place your lower shoulder blades against the bench, and feet are going to be placed um, about a hips width wide. And they shouldn't be too far away from your bottom because when you lift, you want your shins to be about perpendicular to the floor. So not too far in or too far away. Okay, so I've got the band placed on my knees, my, or on my thighs, my back is against the bench. So whenever you lift, you, because we have this band, you want to keep your knees pressed out against the band for the duration of the exercise. So don't lift your hips and then drop your hips and let your knees fall in. Instead, your knees should stay pressed out the, throughout the entire range of motion. So you're here, up and down, keeping your knees pressed out for the entire set. And you'll notice that my head is kind of looking forward the whole time. Um, it, this can be taxing on the neck because this is going to be a super high rep um, exercise. It's easier to just keep your eyes looking kind of forward and keep your head in one position rather than allowing your head to fall backwards. The other thing is that you don't want to re come up to the position that your body is flaring like this. You don't want your rib cage to be flaring that way. Instead, you actually want your rib cage held down and your um, abs nice and tight as you're tucking your hips underneath. Okay, so we want this position not this position because it's harder to contract the glutes in that shape. Okay, so that's the knee banded body weight hip thrust.